Hello! Today is the first Crochet Corner, and what better place to start than in the beginning of crochet? On today's episode, we're going to talk about how to hold your crochet hook, how to hold your yarn, how to make a slip knot, and how to make a chain stitch. So let's get started. First, uh, there are two ways to hold a crochet hook. There's one way called the knife hold, which would be holding the hook underneath your hand with your index finger pointed straight out like you were going to cut a piece of your, of your dinner. The other way to hold the crochet hook is to hold it like a pen, like you're going to write a letter. This is the way I prefer to hold a crochet hook, and that's how I will be demonstrating it throughout. Okay, before you get started, you do want to uh, start with the yarn. You're going to start with a slip knot. Now, further along, you can make a slip knot with the crochet hook, but just to be really simple and basic for the first time, I'm going to show you how to do it with your fingers. You take your two fingers on your left hand and wrap the yarn around and cross over. Then if you take your first finger of your right hand and just slip it through that loop and pull up the yarn, you're going to pull a loop through the loop like that. And there's your slip knot. Now this is your tail and this is your working yarn and that is often referred to in yarn so it's a good place to remember this. Uh, as you're tightening up the knot you're going to pull on the tail and the working yarn until it's a little bit snug on your finger. Go back and insert your crochet hook into the loop. Tighten it up, not so tight that you can't move the hook because you're going to be manipulating stitches through that loop, but uh, tight enough that you can uh, get started. Now we're going to hold the tail between our thumb and index finger and then the working yarn between the middle finger and uh, ring finger, keeping a bit of attention because it helps you in manipulating this yarn. The first stitch we will discuss is the chain. What you do is you wrap the yarn over the hook, which in patterns will be called yarn over or yarn over hook, and then you hook the yarn underneath the hook and pull it through the loop. So you're pulling a loop through the loop. So we'll do yarn over, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull a loop, yarn over, pull a loop. See how nice and even my stitches are? I uh, really think that that has a lot to do with how I hold the yarn. And if you'll notice, as we're going up here, we move from holding the tail to holding the body of work. And you'll always hold the body of work right below where you're stitching. And the yarn will always keep sliding through those other two fingers. So as you're going, you're keeping uniform stitches based on that tension. I'm going to show you what would happen if I wasn't holding proper tension. and you find that it's really hard to get that yarn over the hook and even harder to get it through. And then look at how uneven and sloppy those stitches look. I find that beginners have a hard time with their uniform, uh, uniformity of stitches because uh, it's not always suggested to make sure you have a good hold on the yarn. So now I'll show you a couple more with uh, holding the yarn with a nice tension. And see how we've got the tension uh, back to a uniform? You have the stitches here that are uniform and uh, then the uniformity here. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you about the crochet hook is that there's a numbering system on each hook. Uh, hooks come in a range of sizes. This particular hook that we're using today has uh, two sets of numbers on it. One is the U.S. measurement, the other is the metric. Uh, the U.S. is an H8, then after the slash you'll see the metric measurement and this one is a five millimeter hook. The yarn that we've used today is an eco-friendly cotton blend yarn, which is also featured in these dishcloths. Cotton blend yarns are great for dishcloths because they are dense, inelastic, and machine washable. You can find this pattern on the website. Uh, the pattern features the stitches we've used today and some of the stitches that are upcoming in the future episodes. And that's the first crochet corner. Knitting daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for free access to all of the project instructions, ideas, tips, and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily.